Welcome to Just Outside Wistful Vistas, the Coopermance located in suburban, beautiful San Diego, California. I've just visited our HOA here, Homeowners Association, because uh, it was necessary to do so. Mrs. Cooper and I are going to go green. You may find that kind of interesting. We're going to put a uh, solar array on our roof and use that to generate electricity. So all I'm going to do here is a quick update. We're just going. I'm just going for a quick ride around the uh, corner. As a matter of fact, we're just going to do a quick update here, and I'll bring you up to date on what's going on. We are very happily back in Southern California, as a matter of fact, because we were gone for three and a half weeks. I've just returned. The last portion of our trip was to Italy, where I was able to tour the Ducati factory. I'm going to share that with you on a, a separate video. But let's get suited up and get going. Let's start Tony up. Okay, just tried to start the video with these gloves because I thought they were touch sensitive and uh, they're supposed to be. They've got these little uh, goofy looking uh, finger ends on them. <sighs> Pardon that, but uh, it's supposed to be. But I find that whole touch sensitive glove issue a rather inexact science. It doesn't always uh, work. At least doesn't work for me. So I'm sorry to bore you with putting on the gloves, but we've accomplished that. So let's get Tony going here. Turn on our... I love watching that dash go through that thing. I call that a plie. Uh, it may in fact be a Ron Dujam or a jeté, as opposed to a plié. For those of you who are familiar with all of the uh, ballet terms, I'm not. I don't want to sound like I'm in a fiction auto. I like tutus, not on men. I like them on women. So we're heading down from the HOA. We've been gone in Europe for three and a half weeks, and uh, during that uh, three and a half weeks, I toured the uh, Ducati factory, which was interesting, and I did do a video about that, so I'm going to share that with everybody in the next few days. And, uh, oops, missed neutral. I went all the way to third gear. Uh, rookie mistake. I do it in front of all my uh, vlog watchers. And uh, that was really cool, I have to say, being in uh, Italy and seeing the factory and all that kind of jazz. Uh, there were things that were uh, kind of a surprise about it and things that were uh, rather more or less expected. But uh, did got to do it, and that's sort of a bucket list thing for motorcycle riders and Ducati riders, that kind of stuff. And uh, that's done. I'm back. The Phantom is at Moto Forza being taken care of from that broken kickstand issue. And uh, I hope to pick that up tomorrow. Was going to try and get that done today. But that ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. We're going to ring Tony out a little bit here. I did a pre-flight check before I took off. Tony's in pretty good shape. There's oil. There's air in the tires. Lost a little air over three weeks. Uh, sort of interesting to me. Seems like they all do. Air is a pernicious thing to keep inside of a tire and a wheel. But um, yeah, Tony is ready to go. I haven't ridden in three and a half weeks and that uh, first time back on you always have to be a little bit aware of your surroundings and trying out different things, yada, 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 blah, 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 and uh, needed to get that done. I needed to get it done, of course, because I am going to go over to Mortar Forza and pick up the Phantom. Love that auto blipper. All right, let's talk about things that are going on. We have been traveling for three and a half weeks. Uh, 
were in uh, several countries, the most recent being Italy, and uh, was very excited about that. Oh, got a fuel light. Uh, we uh, thus where I was thus out of the motorcycle world for a bit I followed YouTube wherever I could get Wi-Fi of course that's always fun to do but uh, was out of riding and was uh, away from everything going on in the meantime the Phantom has been at Moto Forza having various little bits and pieces uh, dressed I was going to do all that myself and chronicle that but since I knew I was going to be out of town all that time, I would have had to add our travel time on top of any time it would take me to source the parts and to put them on. So I decided to have Moto Forza to do that. I, I really trust those guys. In fact, if, if anything, they're going to go, they're, they'll, they're professionals. They'll do a better job than I did, <laughs> no question. So uh, not too worried about that. And uh, going to do that. The other thing that I'm going to do is I, I bought a t-shirt there and I'm going to have a giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway amongst my vloggers. I haven't figured out how, what, where, or when there. But I'm going to try and make it uh, actually international. I'm going to try and make it so uh, if possible, and I, I don't know what the laws are, if possible, I'm going to uh, make that for everybody, no matter where they're located. I'll pay the postage. I just don't know how to set it up. And I'm, uh, I can obviously only do it where the uh, rules allow that to happen. So uh, my ambition, I have 3,800 subscribers, which is very funny, but my ambition is to make that available to every single one of those subscribers no matter where they are because I think it would be awful fun anyway uh, but uh, as I say I don't know I don't know the rules I don't know uh, if I have to uh, uh, take any kind of special uh, concern about that or not but uh, that is my plan Okay, going in here for some petrol, and that's not exciting at all. I don't care who you are. Tobono in its natural habitat, a filling station. <laughs> Fuel light just came on. Come on, Tobono, give us a gas gauge. Gee whiz, that would be awful nice. It is 2019, 21st century. I'm going to get a lot of people saying, ah, oh, you're a wuss, you, need a gas you don't need a gas gauge. I don't use a gas gauge, I just drive because I know how many miles I can go, and I'm a tough guy. All right, well, you can be, I, and you probably are, but... Uh, I'd still like a gas gauge. Okay, we're heading back. Heading back to Wistful Vistas. I ran my little um, errand with the HOA, as I say. So, I'm going to do that uh, video of the factory tour. And... Um, Going a little fast for the area here. I'm going to pass this car. Sorry, sir or Mrs. Whoever you may be. And uh, I purchased a T-shirt there, so I'm going to give away that T-shirt. Now my plan is to make that accessible to all 3,800 and some of my subscribers which I think is remarkable. I think it's interesting that I have so many of the subscribers and I, I'm so excited by that. 
And I know it has more to do about the machines than it does me, but it's still, it's still fun. So I want to make that t-shirt giveaway available to all 3,800 of my subscribers. I'm willing to ship it internationally where I can and where it's legal. So the issue that I have, notwithstanding that particular desire, the issue that I have is um, whether or not that's all legal and can be properly done. Just a t-shirt, for goodness sakes, you would think that would be not a big deal. Uh, I certainly would, but uh, I don't know how, I don't know how the law works out, but uh, we're going to find out. And uh, the other part of that, as far as working it all, is I don't know how to make it so that it's as fair as possible. I want to make it so that anybody has an opportunity to do that. Uh, I don't know which way technically to best accomplish that. I'm going to check with a couple of people. I'm going to ask some friends and see how uh, that might best be done. Because I don't want to make 3,800 entries into a uh, giant spreadsheet. That'll take me way too much time. So I've got to find a way to accomplish all that automatically. So watch for that in the very near future. That's coming up. Uh, Two-wheeled bikers here. Do we share anything in common with these folks other than the fact that we're on vehicles with uh, two wheels? I'm sort of thinking not, but uh, in any case, I get it, I dig it, and uh, I'll be back to you. I'll let you know how that uh, works out. So pay attention to that. That's going to happen over the next week, and uh, also, I'll be back on the Phantom within the next week, and I will update everybody on how the Phantom is doing. In the meantime, Tony Thunder is working great over and out.